Now let's try to open this calculator. So there are some screws. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And then uh, six. Seven. So many screws. It's an old calculator. Eight. And that's it. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I removed all the screws. So let's put them here. Actually, here I prefer. So in a safe place for later. Okay, all of them. Let's see. Okay. So this lid is moving. Uh, okay. And this is the interior. <coughs> okay. It's like this. So this is probably the CPU. So for an unknown reason, see if I push it a little bit around this area, then it works. <coughs> so what I notice is that there are these contacts, like this, this pad, and this one. <coughs> this is a the reset button. So maybe the thing is that those contacts are not good anymore. So if I go here and I put this, then I can understand that there is this little thing here, which is something that makes a contact between the batteries and the PCB. So let's try to clean those contacts a little bit, but uh, I have to be careful because maybe I can scratch it. So I don't want to destroy it. <coughs> we take some alcohol. Let's turn on the chemical hood. So I need to use alcohol, which is a chemical stuff, substance, so let's put some gloves, it is always good to put gloves, I will do something with chemicals, okay, now it's much better. Let's take this, a little piece of tissue. So if you wonder where I can find these tissues, it's quite simple. I just cut them from a big one, standard size. Okay. Alcohol. So those pads, have a kind of um, resistive uh, carbon layer which is this black stuff you see so sometimes with 
with aging this thing get uh, probably oxide or so the contact is not good anymore and sometimes we need to clean it a little bit let's try okay I clean this one and also this one let's also clean this one the power button okay and why not let's also clean the reset okay like this okay and put this away and take another one and then we clean it a little bit more but with a dry piece of tissue okay like this okay this one those ones and the reset button okay the reset button probably hasn't been pressed so often <coughs> okay good so now we can turn off the hood we put back this but I want to clean also this a little bit okay and also with the dry tissue and this goes here like this the sliding contact no, maybe it was not like this. Let me check. Okay, it was like this. Okay, good. <coughs> then another thing that I can do is to clean this contact and also these other contacts here. So let's see, this one goes here, then this one goes, I don't know where, probably no, nowhere, and this one goes here. Okay. Now I just want to do another thing. These are kind of little springs uh, that with the time uh, can get a little bit loose, uh, so I just bend them a little bit more like this uh, in order to restore the force they might have lost and also this one just a little bit not too much okay <coughs> and let's try I put this back okay check the button the switch it moves okay now I want to try to put the batteries like this let's say let's see if I can do it so I would like to check if everything works before closing everything so let's try to put the batteries like, like this I keep them with my hand and then let's see what happens okay it doesn't work why let's try to push this uh, okay I see maybe there is not a good contact here so you see that the or maybe I still have the same problem. 
Now it looks a little bit be better. Let's try to remove my thumb from here. You see, it's very difficult. Okay, now well, maybe it works. So let's try to close all the screws. <coughs> so I remove the batteries. I put them apart for later. And now I try to put all the screws so the contacts will stay in place. So one two Then uh, this one, three, and we have to remember that this is plastic, so we don't have to tie the screws too much, otherwise we will break the thread in the plastic. Okay, another one. This one, this, okay, let's put another one uh, here, okay. Another one here, okay, those ones are important because they are in the region of those contacts. Okay, so I tie them a little bit more but not too much okay i use all of them the switch is moving so let's put back the batteries Okay, let's try to turn on it like this. Okay, now the display is a little bit darker, but I can change the contrast. I don't remember how exactly. Okay, like this mode and arrow. Okay, now it's pretty good. Okay. Let's see if it works. One plus one. Okay. No, zero comes. One plus one, zero. It's super strange. One plus one, zero. No, I can't believe it. 25 multiplied three zero what is this off and on one plus one zero impossible what is this thing what's going on sign nine zero everything makes zero <laughs> It's so funny. I've never seen any such kind of thing. Five by five, zero. But how comes? It's impossible. 
now if this place works but the okay i want to reset it so <clears throat> notes on battery replacement switch power off then replace batteries after replacing the battery be sure to press the reset button with a pointed object with the power on if the display does not light up or the unit does not work normally remove the batteries and leave them out for a few minutes then install them again and press the reset button okay where was it the reset was here okay so on and reset okay done now turn it off on okay again this one plus one <laughs> equals two amazing 25 multiplied 3 75 okay let's do this also let's adjust the contrast okay now it's good one plus one what is that ah no a syntax error one plus one equals two okay two minus one equals one great it works fix it